So more warfare is approximately coming out in 12 and a half days, give or take, and people are completely hyped, myself included, about this. And now, of course, there are a few abrasive things, such as the MTX system or some balancing and netcode or whatnot going on. However, that's just for another time and day. We'll see what happens, because in 12 and a half days, you'll have the copy yourself. Um, but today's video is going to be about customization, and we have quite a few things to address that I'm not seeing anywhere else, or at least I haven't really looked up as much anywhere else about people addressing this stuff. Um, so customization uh, is confirmed, of course, in Modern Warfare for each operator. Um, and this is especially prevalent in the Spec Ops trailer, which I'll get into in a second. But before we get into that, uh, I want to show you a specific part of a behind-the-scenes uh, interview kind of showcase with Modern Warfare that the Hollywood Report did. Um, so if you guys remember this, you may not. It's, I think it's on the YouTube. It was uploaded about a week later from when it was actually on the website. Um, there was an option where it had triangle to customize the soldier, and this was not available in the beta, this was not available in the option capture event, I'm assuming that a few YouTubers got to go to. This is completely going to be in the actual game, this was not in any previous state. And if you can see, it says press triangle. And it's, I believe there's also a new operator named Yegor. Um, so that's basically another operator that we have not seen before, and I believe there was a video earlier on some YouTube channel that showcased all the operators unlocked, unless I'm just missing out, like there was Domino and all that, but I guess that that's just, we'll just see what happens anyways. But the, the big deal I like to see about the seasons coming in is that there's actually outfits showcased in a list, and of course these outfits, well, at least most likely will be included into the uh, MTX system. Hopefully, again, as a cosmetic only and just, you know, outfits and shit like that, not the weapons themselves. Um, but if you notice, with all these outfits, there's several outfits of different rarities, uh, and I believe this is for the Grinch character, who was actually in Modern Warfare 3, that I believe it looks more like a Captain McMillan from the first Modern Warfare. Um, but this is the kind of customization now. This looks like the default Grinch model. Um, as far as we can see, we don't really have any clarification on that. Um, however, something that's more interesting, now going into the Spec Ops trailer, if we take a look at one of the scenes in the Spec Ops trailer, we can see that the Allegiance and the Collision are united, and that there's a different outfit for Minotaur, and possibly some other specialists, or maybe just different outfit for other specialists that you can see here, but the main thing we want to focus on is Minotaur. Now, if you guys remember in Black Ops 4, the customization was purely, well, at least a majority of it before, you know, like Operation Absolute Zero, it was just different textures on the skin. It wasn't really changing the skin, it just changed the colors. And that was not very unique. Uh, after Operation Zero, you know, and as of right now, you know, you've got all these crazy things like knight armor and, uh, you know, plague doctor stuff for crash and all that bullshit and stuff like that going on. Um, but as you can see, this is completely modified stuff. This might be where you can change the trousers, change the accessories, change the shirts, change even glasses. I don't think it'll do that like an advanced warfare system. Um, I feel like these are just designated uniforms. Um, if that's the case, that's absolutely fine. Uh, it would be nice if we could see more customization like this, but you don't know if we can change the trousers or the shirts, like I said. Um, but you can see he's kind of wearing some grey half-sleeves. Uh, he has a watch now. I mean, he had a watch before. Um, and everything else looks the same. It's just he's wearing a different top, but this is definitely Minotaur. I cannot see this being otherwise. And again, there's some other specialists here that are wearing some different things. Uh, sorry, operators. But this is really all the video I want to showcase. This is just to help you get to gauge for what kind of customization will be coming. This is official, of course, because you can see right here that this is the official Spec Ops trailer. Now, again, I can't tell if the other operators are just wearing different things. Like, I know um, one of the demon dogs are in there, of course. You know, what's his face from Texas. But that's all for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. With that being said, guys, I'm Sublox, and I'm signing out.